I just wanted to go over the Ten Commandments and how Betsy Stafford Pop Keys is breaking every single one of the Ten Commandments by stealing Asher and stealing Steve Pop Keys away from Mary Pop Keys from St. Nicholas Catholic Church in Gig Harbor, Washington in the late 1990s when I was only 16 years old. What a terrible role model that is and I suffered very much until I realized that what she's doing is wrong and I had to convert myself through a long painful process but thank goodness I'm hopefully on my way we never know anyone can fall at any time says Michael Mangan and that is completely true so I'm always on the brink of a big precipice precipice of my soul <laughs> and she is as well but let's look at this a little further. I think one of her heresies is that, well, I stole for a set number of years, so now it becomes like a gold crown of, of um, piety. And that's not true. The longer you steal something, the worse you become as a human being and the worse the sin is because there is the number amount of sins that God simply forgives no more. And we can see that by the damned. He just... He's had enough, and that's why he says in the Bible, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. And they do get damned. And she laughs. But let's look. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make, not make unto thee any graven image. Is Asher and Steve Popkeys the graven images of Betsy Stafford Popkeys? What about Father Mewson? She's totally manipulating him. Thou shalt not, but he's also allowing it. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. It's a form of blasphemy what she's doing. Going to church while she's stealing in broad daylight? Her prayers, are they really going up to heaven and being heard? Is she mocking the Lord in all of her actions because she knows what the church is about having been raised in it and having fallen now she's just using it to her own advantage like a communist infiltrator remember the sabbath day to keep it holy how can you ever keep the sabbath holy if you're stealing you got to return things and the sacrilegious communions that father Mewson is allowing in this church do you think this really can go on much farther before god's just chastisement comes upon the whole entire world probably myself included honor thy father and thy mother how can you honor them if you're stealing the mother away from the son how can the son possibly honor the mother thou shall not kill slander is a form of murder thou shall not commit adultery well that's obvious thou shall not steal Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Stealing someone's attorney and slandering them is bearing false witness against them. And making up your own fictionalized story and pushing it through the courts and the church. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Steve Popkeys. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. What about Anna's house? Her house could be her soul being uh, led astray by parents, ill parents, ill priests, pastors, and her own sins. But thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, and that includes Holy Mother Church. They should, Father Mishan should not be coveting Asher from Anna, not allowing him to have his first communion, and making up lame excuses, not allowing her to feel welcome in the church as a baptized Catholic. 